so a lot of y'all have been asking me how do I become a Soul Reaper or a Hollow in the Project Mugetsu, and you know it just dropped. So you know, go play it. It's not that it's not that good or it's not that bad, but that's on your opinion to like you know judge. I'm not gonna say this is bad because you know I'm pretty I'm, I'm enjoying it. My friends they having a hard time because they became Hollows, but we're gonna get into why that is. So uh, yeah, so in order to become a Soul Reaper, you gotta make your way over here to the spawn area. And you're going to spawn right here in this little field. And what you need to do is find this little house right here that has Kisuke by it. It's going to have a blue symbol on it. So talk to Kisuke. He's going to ask you if you want to become a Soul Reaper. And then after you do that, you're going to have to defeat 10 Hollows. And uh, the 10 Hollows are like, they're just scattered around. So you will eventually find them because they're marked on the map. And uh, here's what they look like, for example. They look like these things. And uh, they're not that hard to beat, to be honest. To get them in the air like that combo, you have to keep m one And then after you do that, hold space. And it should throw them in the air. And then yeah, it just say level up sword mastery. So that's how you level up sword mastery is killing mobs back to back to back. And uh, to use your skill mastery to level up that, you have to like keep using your skills like these. So keep using your skills like those, like the ones you get from your inventory. So keep using those to level up your skill mastery and then boom. Now to become a hollow, I recommend not becoming a hollow, but it is better in the end game. So it's completely up to you. So to become a hollow, he's, Aizen's going to be sitting under this blossom tree right here. You want to talk to Aizen, teleport you to Fuego Mundo. And then after that, I don't really know because I'm not a hollow. So, you know, you figure it out when you get there. So, well, yeah, if you did find this video helpful, leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, press that red subscribe button. I'll really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.